Well, Frank's got a lot of layers. It just adds to the challenge. I bet it does. <laughs> you know, peeling them off one by one to discover the soft centre underneath. What else has he got hiding under there? Plenty of va va <laughs> You have no idea. <laughs> Good morning. Is it? Oh, dear. And it's only Tuesday. It's all day, every day. Nothing but work and washing and... We. Oui. Disney DVDs. I swear, if I hear that song one more time... Oh, the holiday glow's gone already and you've only just come back. This is a tip. I haven't even had a chance to shave my legs. It's doing my head in. Ah, uh, the working mums juggle. Always late, always tired, always wrong. I dropped Sierra at nursery in her slippers yesterday. <laughs> That's nothing. I remember driving away from the supermarket once and then realising that I'd left Chris strapped to the trolley. Well, Rob told me that he came home to find Jack and Immy handcuffed to the bed, me fast asleep. <laughs> Apparently, I had told them that we were playing cops and robbers. Right, but the point is, we had support and it was still hell. You're on your own and you've been thrown in at the deep end. I'll manage. I've got to, haven't I? Wakey, wakey. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I was miles away. Yeah, I noticed. Didn't sleep too well last night. Oh, this meeting's a formality. Business hotshot plus creative genius. Check. A full order book and one of the biggest fashion houses checking around. Check. What bank could resist? But what uh, if... No ifs, no buts. I mean, look at these. It's a done deal. Unless, of course, my creative genius starts snoring. Huh? We need to keep the momentum going. Having Neve think I'm some kind of crazy stalker freak with separation issues, you call that momentum? The more dirt we got on Lucas, the better equipped we are of taking down the super clinic, right? What if there isn't any dirt to get? Planning meetings in a week. A week? I, I can't do a week. Seven days. Look, we stick to the original plan and get what we need. Then you can tell everybody what you've been up to. To hell with everybody. You can tell Neve. No, she won't listen. The man who saved the mill. You'll be a hero. Not so sure I should leave you alone. We'll be back under that duvet and then my back's down. Won't. I'll meet you there. Just need to gather my thoughts. And there are a few sketches up in the studio I still need to mount for the portfolio. See you later. Clean as a whistle. Right, let's have a look at the other one. You better get that. Hello? Is it Sierra? Is she okay? Well, I'm sure it must have been an accident. You know what kids are like. What? You're not serious. Come in. The nursery just called. The say Sierra's been biting people and... But biting people? <sighs> Two other kids and a helper, so they have no choice but to exclude her for the rest of the day. Exclude her? But <laughs> she's only a toddler. I know. They can't do that, can they? Sounds like they already have. But I'm booked solid all day. Then you've only got one option. What's that? Beg. 
Last night was the worst. I thought I was going to die. You, uh, you taught me through it. You started at the beginning. I wake up with a crushing pain here, like a fist squeezing tighter and tighter. I can't breathe, pouring with sweat, my heart going bang, 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 bang. Boiling hot, then freezing cold. Anything else? I've been hearing things. What kind of? And there's such a sense of, well, dread. Um, you can relax. There's no sign of a heart attack. <sighs> then what is wrong with me? Sounds like it could be nocturnal panic attacks. It's usually stress-related. Stress? Is that all? Mm -hmm. How's the business going these days? Incredibly well, all thanks to Guy. Success can bring its own stress. Been working day and night. I can't keep up with the demand for designs. But it's a real buzz, you know, after all those years getting nowhere. You know how it is. Well, you've got your anxiety under control, so hopefully this is just a temporary glitch. I've tried all my techniques, counting, breathing, visualisation. Nothing touches it. Sometimes uh, it can be a sign that a problem is being buried. It's, um, it's like the brain's telling the body something's not right. Dr Clay, please, can you just give me something? Uh, you know, there's no easy fix. But I can't work like this. I really need to be on top of things. You don't understand. Long term, I think we need to review your coping strategies. I know. But there must be something. Just, uh, OK. This is a, a mild tranquilizer for you to take before you go to bed. Some people find this helps. Thanks. I'll make another appointment, OK? We can work through things to help you beat this. Izzy. I really thought I'd left all that behind. Better get on. Busy day. Look, you were right to come, OK? I'm here to help. If you need me, call me anytime. You still have my number. She's just a kid. She won't do it again. I'll talk to her. But I've just got back off holiday and there's no-one else to cover. My boss doesn't have children. It'll go ballistic. I've got seriously ill patients struggling to see me here. Do you really want to have a death? <sighs> all right. All right, I'll be there. <sighs> I can just see Howard's face. Well, uh, why don't you try your Aunt Tracy? Just this once? Hello, Tracy. Aisha. Fine, thanks. Well, actually, Sierra needs picking up from nursery for the rest of the day, and I just can't. She's been biting. I know, it's not like her at all. You will. I'm sorry, but some of the designs are not ready and it would wreck the presentation. I've only just realised a few days won't make much difference, will it? No, honestly, I'm fine, just a bit tired. Got to get back to work. Love you. Bye. Everyone's at the Icon. Are you coming? But of course. Actually, um, no, I'm, I'm not. I've uh, got things that I need to do. I'm working through. Drugs audit, then Howard said I can go early. Oh, of course he did. Everybody goes to the pub apart from me.
J'en ai marre de tout. Rob, calme-toi, je vais raccrocher. Euh, oh, oh, je suis calme. Et toi, tu peux m'aider de me parler doucement. Et tu peux m'expliquer quelque chose, s'il te plaît Pourquoi t'es tellement... Je ne sais pas, t'es tellement... Why are you so unreasonable Ce n'est pas moi qui ai volé l'avenir de Gigi. Ah oh, non, mais excuse-moi, je t'ai déjà dit plein de fois. Oui, c'est ma faute et je suis désolé. Je ne t'écoute plus, Franck, c'est fini. Quoi Mais Therese, tu peux pas faire ça, je suis son père. Therese What's wrong with you today? You're, you're so jittery. No meeting matters this much. Is there something up? I told you. I'm exhausted. Go on back to the office. I'll have a nap and I'll be fine by the time you get home. We could go out for dinner, Alfonso. I am worried about you. Working too hard, that's all. Well, you need to have a word with that managing director of yours. I will. <laughs> Tell him that you need to go straight to bed. <laughs> get back to making our millions. <laughs> Did you set a new date with the bank? Friday. Is that going to be a problem? I can't cancel again, Izzy. I need my star player to be on top form. I'll be fine. Now, go. I'll bring in a takeaway, you know, if that's going to make... Then, by this point, he's, you know, he's essentially begging. If you don't let me see her, I will bully you. Would you? I was that? I mean, he's going to boil himself. Um, then Therese starts speaking really fast. She gets properly angry and accuses him of stealing food from his own daughter's mouth to buy expensive. It says idiots here, but well, that can't be right. Um, he gets upset. Uh, I love Gigi. He misses her so much. It's like he's lost an organ. Um, my French isn't great. Oh, oh, oh this is important. Right. She says he needs to sort his debts out and she hangs up. He calls her back like five, six times, but just gets the old answer phone. <sighs> Poor bloke. Whose side are you on? No, I'm just saying, if he wants to see his daughter, what choice does he have? Oh, I don't know. Earn an honest wage? That man is trying to destroy my practice. I don't care what his motives are, neither should you. We need to destroy him. Well, at least I know now what's been up with you today. I can't believe I've been so stupid. How many times? I'm not leaving you. I'd never do that. I love you. I don't quite know how to say it. I've wanted to tell you for ages. You can tell me now. There's a man. No, I knew it. No, no, not like that. A man's been coming to the house every day. What? Why? Because he's a... A bailiff. Why? That's... I was taking it all to hide at my mum's. How has this happened? Truth is, I'm just rubbish with money. I've completely lost track of it all. A few of these bills came, then my card was declined at the supermarket and I panicked. I couldn't face opening the rest. Why didn't you tell me? You've been working so hard for me in the business. I insisted it was my house and I could run it, remember? I should be able to cope with a few bills. I just hoped it would go away. I'm so sorry. No, no, come on. None of that. But if anyone's sorry, it should be me. I'm the money man, yes? You should have realised. Look, look, L leave them with me, all right? I'll sort them. It might already be too late if he started coming round, but as long as we don't let him in, he can't touch or take anything. Is he? But... I've been bankrupt before. Years ago, long before we met. 
They came in broad daylight. I was so ashamed. All the neighbours were looking. Let's just slow down a bit. I've tried so hard. I couldn't believe it was happening again. I know I've been a bit nuts lately. Too much work, so much pressure, out of control. Uh, li li listen, listen, it's fine. Just calm down. The, the meeting okay. today at the bank, I, I couldn't stop thinking. It will all come out. The business will be ruined. I'll let you down. It's all my fault. Is he... Is he... What's, what's happening? What, what, what can I do? Is that Dr. Clay? This is Izzy Baldwin's husband. Yeah, I'm with her now. D deep breathing, okay. Izzy, Izzy, you need to breathe deeply. Open your eyes now. Thank you. Oh, I lost it a bit over the phone, I'm sorry. Don't worry, you did me a favour, Miss Dessert. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Piece of limp string. That was a shocker. You should lie down, give your body a chance to recover. Yeah, let's get you upstairs, come on. Was there uh, anything unusual that caused the attack? Um. Look, uh, Izzy's just landed us in a tiny bit of hot water, money-wise, but everything's going to be fine. I'll make sure of that. The, uh, the appointment we talked about, I'll get Karen to call you. That's it. Isabel Baldwin, I need to no, speak to you. Get out! Get out! Get out of my house! I just want to talk you to you. You don't fool me! I know your game! You little bailiff! Oh, what? I, I'm Izzy, not! Izzy, I go upstairs. Uh, I'm not a bailiff, and you know it. What? You're a nasty piece of work who's out to cause trouble. Look at what you've done to my wife. But I work for you. Oh, I have never seen you before. He made sure of that, that there's so much you need to know. Like what? How are you going to justify forcing entry and terrorising a woman in her own home? I ought to call the police. You do that. Hiya. Hey, didn't expect you for a while. I pulled a few strings, at least I could do after lumbering you like that. How's she been? A nightmare. Actually, she's been a proper little angel. I reckon getting them out in the fresh air's the secret. Kai was just the same. They have loads of outside space at nursery. Sand pit, water play, the lot. Seems like a great place, but after everything she's had going on. I'd do it different if I could. But I've got to keep working to keep everything going. You're doing fantastic, Ish. I'd love to help out, if I can. We're family, aren't we? Kai's doing full days at school now, and I'm still only working part-time. Not to do with myself rattling around this house. I thought you and Paul... Years now we've been trying. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I'm sorry. So you'd be doing me a favour, really? Lending me Sierra for, say, a couple of days? Sounds brilliant. She'd love that. You'd save a fortune on nursery fees, and we could always go up to more days a week if it was working out. A week? So you mean you'd have her a couple of days every week? Happy now? I, I didn't mean to scare you. Just, just give me five minutes, please. Not sure this is a good idea. The guy's a deluded fantasist here to stir things up. You can't believe a word he says. The blood pressure is slightly high. Do you hear that? It's time for you to go. I can't go on like this. What's happening to me? My name is Justin Foster, and I work, or I used to, on your account's desk. Yeah, until you were fired. Now you'll stop at nothing until you get your own back. You're pathetic. For weeks, I'd been noticing that things weren't adding up. Invoices would go through and payments would go out, but I'd never see any goods arrive. Because you're completely incompetent. Go on, get your excuses ready, find someone to blame. I can't wait to hear it. Are you OK? Can't just wait. I did some research. Oh, that's what you're calling it now. The invoices were paid to a fake company. And its sole director is... <laughs> is that really the best that you can come up with? We're talking thousands, straight into his own pocket. He's been stealing from you. Guy has devoted countless hours to building up this business. Why would he jeopardise that? I'd like you to leave now, please. Why do you think he sacked me? He knew I was on to him. You don't know when to give up, do you? You've said your piece. It's time to go. I'm really sorry. Come on, love. You need to get your rest. It's all in here.
It's risky meeting so near to the mill. What's the problem? I'm pulling the plug. Say what? I don't need you anymore. But I'm onto something big here. Well, I'm way ahead of you. You already have two of the mill partners on board. Anything a locum can do, I can do better. Wait a minute, I thought we had a deal. Look, the mill is already on its knees. And once Granger and Carmichael take out their money, it'll be finished. So, the deal is over. Is what I owe you. What's this? Where's my final? Thank you, Frank. Maybe we should do this another day. You're not well. He's taking advantage. <laughs> oh, come on, is it? It's just something he's mocked up. It's your business and you ought to know. But you're not seriously going to believe him, are you? Oh, you're out of your mind. There's a black hole in your cash flow and your workers' jobs could be at risk. They all have families. I've been lying awake at night worrying. Me too. Where's my money? OK, look, I, I did need a little extra short term just to plug a few gaps and I reckon a few months you, you, you never know the difference. What gaps? Took a few hits on the roulette table. Gambling. <sighs> Gambling. It happens. You know me. Play big, win big. I mean, how do you think the business built up so quickly? Certainly not thanks to jobs worth like Justin here. Come on, Izzy. You know I adore you. This is just a blip. I would have paid the money back and you would have been none the wiser. You're right. I wouldn't. And more fool me. I trusted you. I was petrified about letting you down. But I, I didn't know about the bailiff thing. How was I supposed to know about that? This isn't fair. I can't be around you right now. I, Izzy, please, come on, you don't mean that. Look, listen to me. I, I know I've messed up, but I'll make it right. I mean, I always do, don't I? I don't know what to think about you. And we've got a load of stuff to sort out. Izzy, please. Please, I'll do anything. Just, just give me one more chance. I really need you to go. Your brother can put you up for a while. I'll send some things round. You see, I love you. You're the one that's deluded. How can you call this love? Come on, mate. This is going nowhere. I'll call you. We need to talk about this. So young to carry all this. You've got your whole life ahead of you. She's my sister. What else am I going to do? We have discussed it, you know, me and Paul. Seriously. Discuss what? Taking Sierra off your hands permanently. We've got this house and the garden. Enough money, a good marriage. You get your life back too. It just fits, doesn't it? What are you talking about? Can't believe I fell for it. You're not interested in helping me. You just want to steal Sierra and get yourself a ready-made family. That's sick. Oh, I didn't mean that. Well, that's how it looks. Come on, we're going. Oh, I love that kid. I've fought for her so hard that Debs and my mum aren't even talking to me. You think you can just come in and take her away? I'm sorry, Aish. I didn't mean... You have to find yourself another kid to steal because I am never going to give her away to you or anyone else. Always the risk-taker. I admire that in you. <laughs> oh, come on. The mill's a dead cert. It's a long game, waiting for the partners to take their money out. Long and extremely complicated. I've seen it before. Could take months. But you knew that, right? And you're still willing to take the chance. Good luck with that. <laughs> you have a better idea, do you? Well, every business has its weak spot, and I spent a long time working out theirs. Give me a couple of days, and the mill will be gone for good. What are you doing? And you are? The father. 
of the baby? The boyfriend was old enough to be her father. He was pushing 50. Shocking. How about here? No, further back. Is here okay? Go around the bush. Some kind of problem going on in your private life? Reg Cox, he could do with the doctor. Watch the first.